Assalamu alaikum. So let's get started. Make sure that first you have installed WebView Flutter and I would suggest to install this 3.0.1 and after that you can go ahead and create a stateful class. You can name it anything and inside the class, inside this scaffold, inside the body section, for the body, body section, let's insert a web view. Now actually this is a class that's coming from the package that we have installed earlier. Now over here we have mentioned initial URL and uh, JavaScript mode and whether the web view has been created or not. If it created then we'd be able to view it. And make sure that you have an endpoint or a URL from where we'd be showing the data as web view. And now let's go ahead and run our app. So this is what we see. Now this is our home page. On home page, actually, I'm calling this Flutter Web View. At our main.dart, we are calling this routing, which calls this Flutter Web View. And after that, if you go ahead and run it, you will see a screen like this. And this screen has this button. This button should take you the Flutter Web View screen, the one that we created. So let's go ahead and hit next screen and it should be loading our web view and that's what it did so actually this is coming from a website or a page the page is this one now let's go ahead and take a look quickly so this is our html page which is blade.php you can use any kind of html page and over here actually we do see that go back button which is this one and at the same time we have a description your payment is successful which is this one now what we want to do, we want to be able to click on this and go back to our earlier page. Now if we click on this one, and uh, this method should get called and take us to earlier page. Let's go ahead and see. Of course, if we click on this, nothing happens because we also need to set up the mechanism from Flutter front end. So over here, right after this JavaScript mode, we can insert a new piece of code. The piece of code tells you we have to create a channel so that's why we have a property javascript channels and inside this we have this javascript channel method which creates a channel now for this one you need to mention the channel name in our case i'm saying the channel name is pay which should be similar as this object over here so if you name it payment then you have to name it over here as payment so that's how we would do the naming and because of the channel name we'd be able to communicate from web view to our flutter app remember right now actually this is a web view not 100 percent flutter app so since this has been done actually we'd be able to go ahead and communicate and how we do that and at the same time we see that over here on message received so what's going to happen if we click on this actually this javascript channel would get triggered and inside this we have this property on message received so this would get triggered and since this would get triggered we'd be able to access this so here we'll see that message received this one and we would be also able to print a message so this message is coming from the message object which is a javascript message object now this message would be actually sent from our web end from this uh, HTML file. The message we are calling it success, okay? You can pass anything or any kind of string. Here we are passing the string and this string would be able to grab over here from this message object as you can see over here, okay? So we'll click on this. So once we click on this, somehow this method would get called because we are using on click event and since this get called there is a channel the channel name is a pay now this channel name is this channel name which refers to this channel so this channel would receive the string the string we pass from here it would receive and then we can do whatever we want with it so let's go ahead and confirm it now before we do that we need to restart everything so let's go ahead and do that and now let's go to our web view and as you can see over here the message success has been printed because this is coming from our web end and at the same time because we are using navigator.pop so we can go back to our earlier screen